Here we are once again, guys. Another Friday on our way in to do some trucking. Once the sun comes up, I wanna have a, a chat with you guys and a conversation with you in the comment section there about trucker bathrooms. Not about necessarily the state of them because I've heard that's been an issue as well, how clean they are, but just simply their access to bathrooms. Have you had any issue with having access to bathrooms? And I wanna share with you some things that the uh, Ontario government in the province of Canada is doing about it. We're just gonna wait for the sun to come up here and join us and uh, we'll see you with the truck. Well, it's not the sun, but it's all the light we got to work with right now. Artificial light. The sun will be coming up whenever it decides to wake up over there. It's been sleeping in lately. It always does that this time of year. Must be nice. We don't have that privilege. We got our truck running here. Gotta go grab a roll tight flat. No, roll tight step. Head north again. Whoa, all right. Roll tight step. I think I see one right there. You're mine, buddy. Oh wait, I think I see I think I see an even better one over there. Let's see, which one's our favorite? Just make sure you're empty before we go and hook up. Okay, okay. Oh, you can't see it's dark in there. But it's empty. Who is this? 412 DTLR, I choose you. We're gonna be friends today. This truck idles a little rough when it's uh, when it's cold. Uh, we know that, and uh, it's gonna get fixed. This truck's going in for a bunch of work uh, in the next couple of months over the winter. It should be uh, a lot better by next summer, not just the engine. So uh, we're looking forward to that. We're really looking forward to that. So let's finish hooking up here. I have a two-hour drive north. We're gonna end up in Arburg once again town we always seem to go to. Good thing I like the people there. Otherwise it'd be very difficult going there almost every day. <laughs> trying to keep this jacket clean. My first winter using it. I've had it for a while. It was actually a gift from one of you a while ago. And I'm really thankful for it because it's going to good use this winter. Okay, so I didn't want to squish between there. We're back here checking all the lights. I can see the license plate lights working. Brake lights are working. Tail lights are working. Marker lights and signals are working. No lights at the top because it's a roll tight. They're down there. They have three lights in the center of the trailer. If it's a hard box trailer, like a van trailer, it'll be at the top. On flatbeds and roll tights, it's down there. That's to tell people behind us from a distance that this is a big truck. And they know when they see taillights what to expect in front of them, right? Come on. Come on. It's like Ah, there we go. You sort of got to fidget with it and sometimes give it a little love whack. Just to get that light to work there. Okay, it's going to be a really warm drive up if I keep my jacket on the whole drive up there. It's not even that cold. It's only minus one this morning. But... I've got to give my body a week or two to adjust to the new temperatures and uh, climatize, or whatever that word is. Because eventually it's going to get down to minus 30. And then the first couple of days, the first week of minus 30 is always like, oh, you're going to die. And then after that, your body gets used to it. And it's just another day. See if I can fold this thing up. Yeah, this jacket was a gift a long time ago. I really appreciate that. Because uh, I needed one. My jacket from last winter uh, was done. It's too old, so I had to go and uh, switch over to this one. And usually my jackets last about, 
last about a year or two years, uh, depending on how uh, well I can take care of them. I'm gonna try to get this, not get this one dirty, because when I get it really dirty, then I have to wash it more often. And uh, every time you wash it, it deteriorates it a little bit and takes some of the reflective qualities out of it. And you get the deal. But things have gotta be washed. Hey, you notice I got a new vest too? I was really excited about this yesterday. I ordered this off Amazon. It's a specific kind of vest. It's the same kind that I had before, except clean and new and not held together with pins. The other one had a whole bunch of pins holding the pockets together because it's all falling apart. And I couldn't find this one on Canadian Amazon for a year or so. So I just made the other one work. And now this one finally became available and it was only like 25 bucks. See, it's got this nice little clear package here for my, uh, hey, hey, see what I mean? There we go, you gotta, I'll whack you. I'm talking to the light, not you, I'd never whack you. Uh, the Velcro all works nice, but it's got this nice little clear pocket for my ID, so when I show it to my shippers and receivers, they clearly know who, where I'm from and what my name is, if they wanna call me by my name. Or if they want to call in and say, what a wonderful job this Josh trucker did. He did such a good job, you know what? Good thing he had his name tag and ID right here on his chest so we can call in and tell them what a great job he did, right? That's what it's there for. And then here I got a zipper pocket that holds like my fuel cards and uh, spare key, things that I don't want falling out, zippered in. This pocket, use it for chapsticks. Sometimes I get dry lips, just in case. And then I got my pockets down here and here. I keep my uh, my mask in here that I wear over, so it's always on me. And then this gets washed all the time. And that's in there. Everything I need. That's why I like this vest. Anyways, the next jacket I buy though is gonna have this clear pocket on it though too. I really like this. That jacket doesn't have it, but that's okay because the jacket still works just great. But the next one I'm gonna get is gonna have so that everybody can say, hey. You know that Josh guy, he delivered our stuff? I like that guy. There you go. I gotta get going here, it's time to go. Hi ho, hi ho. Or wait, that's not right. I o I o. so it's off to work I go. is starting to wake up just a little bit out there. See that? Just a bit. It's a little cloudy so you can't see much of the sky. So it's coming. So it's Friday today. I was just looking at the calendar. Made me kind of worried about the calendar. Its days are numbered. So we're here waiting to get loaded. Uh, not too sure what they're doing. They're just getting stuff ready. So uh, a little bit of a wait. Figured I'd uh, try and try my hand at uh, try 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 making you try making a funny. I'm a truck driver, not a comedian. <laughs> if April showers bring May flowers, what do May flowers bring? Pilgrims. <laughs> Why do seagulls? fly over the sea because if they flew over the bay we'd call them bagels my hair is growing a little bit again you know every time i get a haircut and someone asks me hey did you get a haircut i say no i cut them all <laughs> where do boats go when they get sick to the boat dock obviously <laughs> How do you get a squirrel to like you? Act like a nut. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up on its own? Because it was too tired. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna lose followers. So here we wait. I got the trailer open. I got it swept. Uh, the trailer 
needed a little bit of a facelift. By that I mean uh, I had to clean up a little bit inside there. Uh, I, I swept it out, made it look all pretty, organized all the straps all nice and neat and all the equipment all nice and neat. Now I'm just hanging out. Not too sure what they're going to load me with yet. But... Very important stuff, that's all I know. And uh, it's going to, you guys want to know where it's going, so if you were to drive here with us and you were assigned to this load, you would be on your way to... I don't know yet. I thought they sent me the message. <laughs> yesterday's load, though. If you would have... If you're the one pulling out the load I picked up from here yesterday, you'd be going to Elk Grove, Indiana and York, Pennsylvania. How about that? Just waiting on today's paperwork to get here. Usually they'd send me uh, all the information through the computer system here already, but... Uh, they assigned this to me yesterday, so I already knew I was coming here first thing in the morning, and they were expecting me. Well, as soon as it gets on my trailer, uh, they're, they're so good here. I love coming here because the, the shippers are really fun to talk to, and uh, they're really good at what they do. They load it very well, and they'll tell me where to strap it. They'll help me strap it. You know, not a lot of shippers do that. They don't usually help you tie down your loader, you know, give you because it you don't want to damage the freight right the whole point of tying down the load is to secure it without damaging it so our topic of conversation today is truck driver bathrooms or truck driver toilets or truck driver washrooms whatever you call the place where you go number one and number two have you been having a hard time finding a place on the road to go to the bathroom uh, I've heard stories of this again and again all over the place from the US up to Canada I have not experienced this problem myself whatsoever, but for the last year I've pretty much just been here in Manitoba and a little into North Dakota, Minnesota, and uh, Ontario. So where you're at, have, have you been having problems since this whole pandemic started? Uh, finding somewhere where people will let you use their bathroom, or are you finding that some people are not letting you because of all the restrictions? Uh, Ontario, which is the province over to our east, it's the province where our capital, Ottawa, is. It's the most populated province in Canada. Uh, they're passing legislation to help with that, to allow delivery personnel to use the bathroom. I was reading up on it a little bit today yet. Um, it says the Ontario government intends to introduce legislation, legislation that would allow delivery workers access to use the washroom facilities at businesses where they are delivering or picking up loads. So this is from uh, Ontario Trucking Association. This is a... Uh, news a new site it's called uh, on truck.org on truck.org uh, and there's uh, a whole news article on here about it and i wanted to ask you guys too because i've heard about this a lot i haven't experienced it at all no one has ever refused me access to a bathroom but at some shippers and receivers i can see how that might happen and that might be an issue has it been an issue for you has it happened to you and what do you think is all going to be included in this legislation? Like, what are they going to do? They're going to just pass a law that demands that you're allowed to go to the bathroom at your shipper or receiver? That's what it sounds like they're doing, which would make sense. I mean, some of these big receivers and shippers, they have big secure yards. And when you got to go, you got to go. And if there's nowhere to go, what are you supposed to do? Especially if you got to go number two. What are you, can't, what are you going to get a bucket? Like, no one wants to do that. This is this is 2021. We don't do that. A lot of the shippers and receivers that I go to actually set up porta-potties outside for the drivers to use, which is, is something. It's enough for me to use. I don't, I don't need a big fancy bathroom. I guess some places aren't even doing that. So now I guess this Ontario legislation is going to pass a law that will, I guess, force them to provide you with some kind of way to relieve yourself while you're waiting to get loaded or unloaded. What do you think about that? And has it been an issue for you? Let me know down below in the comment section. Are you ever just sitting there minding your own business? And suddenly you get the feeling like you're being watched. What's up guys? Moo! How you doing? You wanna hear a joke? What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef! <laughs> Nobody? Nobody? I thought for sure they'd go for the cow joke. 
I told that one to you the other day, right? Well, well, well. Looky here. Wonder where this train's going. Probably to Thunder Bay to the port there or to Montreal. And all of those containers are gonna be, be going over the ocean somewhere, I bet. I mean, I don't know how long it's gonna take them to load them. They seem to be uh, moving a little slowly once they get to the ports, but they're on the way.